Welcome back to andrewsakes.com, raising the bar. Today we're going to be looking at um, a powerlifting uh, posture for the bench press. So let's see how to do one. Well. So basically the difference between this exercise and a normal standardized uh, bench press which you would do in a gym is basically the body shape in itself. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing this exercise if you're a novice or if you're new to the gym. This kind of bench press is really quite specialized um, and it's really suited to guys who are familiar and very, very experienced within the gym environment. Difference being here is basically your legs are wide, your feet are coming back and you're arching your body up. Now in doing this, what you're actually doing is you're pushing your feet right through the floor and you're bringing your chest a lot closer to the bar. The point of a powerlifting bench press is basically to restrict and contract your upper body as much as you possibly can, but at the same point, restrict the amount of movement you're doing. Uh, whenever you're watching any sort of powerlifting event or something like that, the guys on there are lifting huge loads, but the actual range in which they're getting is quite minimal. So in order to do that, you're looking to try to minimise your leverage and minimise the amount of movement that you have to go through in order to uh, lift the load. So just to, to do this, we're bringing our feet right back, we're bringing ourselves up, arms up nice and wide, we're taking this out. Then from here, we're actually bringing the bar down a lot lower down the body. Now the bar itself is probably coming just below our sternum, okay? We're not worried so much about the placement being so high up our chest, it's a little bit lower down the body. The key thing is basically moving that load as fast and as quick as possible. Breathing wise with this, and this is one of the reasons why it's an advanced movement, is that prior to making the movement, you're looking to take a big breathe in. So you're actually doing the uh, uh, movement without breathing. So it's essentially what's known as the Valsava Maneuver. So in doing this, let me just show you again. Here, I'm taking a big breathe in, in which what happens, it then tenses the whole body. In breathing in and in contracting the body, it keeps the body nice and tight and it keeps it nice and safe. If you're concerned at all about your lower back, consult a fitness professional, um, or indeed get in contact with me, but the key thing is driving your feet through the floor. In doing that, that takes the load. In actual fact, it's your legs that you'll find will start to shake quite a bit, not your lower back. If you do start getting some back issues, any discomfort whatsoever, let me know and I'll, help you, and I'll be able to help you out. AndrewSage.com, raising the bar.